Hi everyone, welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine. And I am excited about this new bit of information that we have uh, just uncovered. Brand new study out. It's showing us yet again, why a plant-based diet is so important for overall health. Now this one I think is gonna surprise a lot of people. So, you know, uh, the thing, you know, as a, being a vegan for 35 years, uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, obviously, where do you get your protein, all the basic things. But we've come to find that there are a lot of nutrients that research originally had assumed that vegans or those on a plant based diet or those consuming a high plant based diet would would be concerned about not getting enough of these sufficient nutrients. Um, but vitamin D was never really one of those major concerns, except for most people thought, oh, well, vitamin D2 is, which is a precursor to D3, uh, is found in plants, but it's an inferior source. And, and that's actually been borne out in research. They found that vitamin D2, like what's in mushrooms and what many plants uh, produce for their own purposes, does not convert well. And even in studies on muscle, they found vitamin D3 increased muscle strength, increased muscle recovery time, increased muscle performance. Vitamin D3, we're talking about the new sports supplement, vitamin D3. That's right. All these studies are coming out showing how it's improving oxygen uptake. So great for endurance athletes too. But wait a minute, vitamin D3 only comes from animals, right? Wrong. So now we have plant source sources of vitamin D3. But this study takes it even further. And this is why I'm so excited about it, because this study shows it's not about the vitamin D3 and how much you consume and how much is actually in your bloodstream or stored as D3. It's how much actually gets metabolized into an active form of D. I won't bore you with the long name or anything, but so this is exciting because this is a different thing. So this is where the researchers said, well, let's dive in and find out what's actually doing the metabolism, turning that D3 that you get either from sun or from supplementation, that D3 then has to convert in our body into active forms of vitamin D to do anything, including improve muscle recover, muscle health, immune function, which is so important right now because so many studies have come out showing how important vitamin D3 is to COVID-19. That's right. So boosting our immune system. And But here's the exciting part. So when they dug down into this study and they find out, all right, let's find out what's causing uh, the uh, metabolism of G3 into its active form, that strong form that our body actually uses, just like the active form of vitamin B12. Our body takes standard cyanocobalamin and converts it to methylcobalamin, adenosylcobalamin, hydroxylcobalamin, the active forms in our body that our body actually uses for its purposes. So our body actually has to take D3, whether we get it from sun or from supplementation, and convert it into a bioactive form of vitamin D, and that's what does all the good benefits. So it's really not, we've been looking at it the wrong way. Um, the researchers proclaimed that looking at the studies, uh, they found that it was not relevant how much they had in the stored form. This is the D3 form that you get from sunshine or vitamins. The more important form was the active form. Now, what is making it active? This is what the breakthrough, and this is why I'm so excited because once again, it shows consuming a plant-based diet actually upregulates that conversion into active D3. So, you know, the old, the old adage that you got to get D3 from animal sources like, you know, the wool or, or the sheep's fat or, or animal products like dairy or something. It's not the case. Now we know actually just the opposite is true. The higher you, uh, plant consumption that you consume, and I'll show you why, the higher the actual active vitamin D in the body. And this is why. This is what makes this study such a big breakthrough. So they drilled down and they said, okay, what is it that's causing that? Well, they looked at 
um, associations in the microbiome, our gut health, the bacteria that live in our gut, probiotics, we call them. So they looked at the probiotics and they said, is there a correlation between certain probiotics and the, and the amount of active D? And sure enough, there was. So they were drawing the conclusion basically that those specific probiotics, there was a group of about 12 of the different probiotics that were actually yielding higher metabolized active forms of vitamin D in the body. So they're like, okay, but what are those forms? Now, this is cool. And I'm going to read it right off the report to you because this, this, when I read that, I'm like, oh, there it is. Most of these 12 bacteria produced butyrate, a beneficial short chain fatty acid. Now, why is that so interesting in the plant-based community? The reason is butyrate is only produced when our microbiome consumes, or our gut bacteria consume fiber. That's right, they consume fiber and they poop out or they metabolize, make metabolites of butyrates. Butyrates are short chain fatty acids that again, our body uses to reduce inflammation, to feed our gut cells, to help them be more bioactive and absorbing the nutrients out of our food and to, to heal the gut lining, but it also reduces, butyrates get actually stored in tissues and butyrates get stored in the lungs. Why? Because lungs is one of the first places we get infection. It's, it's, a, it's ground zero of infections. We breathe in infections and bacteria. So our body rushes butyrates and stores them around the lung tissue because when our body has to attack a pathogen, a bacteria or a virus that comes in through our mouth, lungs, eyes, nose, our body sends these cytokines and just tries to wreck and destroy these, these things and does it very efficiently. That's the innate immune response, the initial attack. But once you've created the battlefield, you don't want those berserkers out there attacking the pathogens, the virus, the bacteria, even COVID-19. You need to immediately bring that uh, uh, inflammation down because these cytokines cause massive inflammation. You don't want too much inflammation. The lungs can fill with fluid. And this is what's actually causing the death. And a lot of people that are getting COVID-19, they're actually drowning in their own fluid that they're not, unable to breathe because their lungs fill with fluid. Um, same with pneumonia or other bacterial viral infections. So our body has to immediately use some of those butyrates and even use vitamin D3 active forms of vitamin D3, remember, to bring that inflammation down. And if we don't bring that inflammation down, our body's innate immune response can actually be uh, correlated with our own cause of death. That's why we've seen the higher rates of active forms of vitamin D3 in the body, the better we are to be able to defend against pathogens. That's viruses, parasites, bacteria, all of them. And our body actually stores these. But what's so important, backing up again, what's so important is these bacteria that actually turn vitamin D3 into its active form are fiber-eating bacteria. Remember, they said the 12 bacteria that are doing this all produce butyrates. So they're fiber-consuming bacteria. These are probiotics that are feeding on fiber. Not only they are activating vitamin D3, which can help us in our innate immune response, they are actually breaking down that fiber into short chain fatty acids called butyrates, which then can go cause the, uh, the adaptive immune response, bringing down that inflammation. Boom, boom, that one, two punch that keeps us healthy, keeps us strong, and yes, even improves muscle strength, muscle recovery time. because Muscle injury is the same thing. When we exercise really intensely, we're creating a lot of waste material, we're damaging tissues, and our body has to reduce the inflammation and clean up. And vitamin D3 helps with that, helps with oxygen efficiency, helps increase strength, helps increase recovery. So really important, not only for your immune health, which is so important right now in the age of COVID, but also for your overall strength and recovery times in the gym. So, to sum it up really nice and neatly, so the standard blood tests only detect the inactive precursor forms of vitamin D3 that get stored in the body. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. We need that. But what really works is when we have high active forms. Now, what is causing that activation? Gut bacteria. 
Which gut bacteria are causing those? Those that produce butyrates. How do they produce butyrates? They consume fiber. Fiber is only found in plants. There is zero fiber in any animal product. Eggs, fish, dairy, meat, sheep, anything, anything of an animal origin, zero fiber. Only comes from plants. So what we're saying is by consuming vitamin D3, either from the sun or supplementation, you're going to get more of that activated if you are consuming higher amounts of plant fiber. And that's one, again, beautiful example of how consuming a plant-based diet high in fiber with getting sun or taking vitamin D3 as a supplement can greatly increase your body's ability to do what it does in fending off and strengthening the body, whether it's bone health, immune health. This is amazing. This, the more we learn about what our microbiome does and how perfectly in sync it is with a plant-based diet, the more we see that these nutrients that we consume are so much more effective, efficient, and actually offer health benefits in the same amounts when we feed our microbiome, our gut, plant materials. Remember, microbiome can feed on polyphenols only from plants, oligosaccharides only from plants, and, and uh, fibers only from plants. So these are the things that feed the gut bacteria that allow these transitions. If you haven't done so, check out my video on vitamin K2. That was a big misunderstanding too in the scientific community that, hey, vegans can't get enough vitamin K2. We get vitamin K1 in the plants. So they said vitamin K2 doesn't convert well. Now we know that the actual bacteria in our gut that convert vitamin K1 to vitamin K2 feeds on fiber. <laughs> Guess where fiber comes from? Plants. So the more plants you're eating with high amounts of K1 in them, the more your body is actually converting, feeding those bacteria that do the conversion of K1 to K2. So vegans can actually get higher amounts of K2 than those consuming K2 from animals because we're actually feeding and propagating the bacteria and making them grow and proliferate so they can convert more of this plentiful vitamin K1. Here's a beautiful example is, of course, um, our own product, um, um, clean green protein, highest in fiber, highest in polyphenols, and uh, and and highest in K1 of any of the plant-based proteins on the market, period. <laughs> what did I just talk about? Fiber feeding, polyphenols feeding, and, and, and uh, fiber feeding. All this is in, uh, and vitamin K1. All this is in clean green protein with lentine. Lentine is a superstar of the plant kingdom, giving you the K1 you need to convert to K2, to giving your body the fiber it needs to upregulate those bacteria that convert K1 to K2. It's all there in the plants. If we consume a whole food plant-based diet, consume great plants like lentine and, and supplement with vitamin D, D3 and B12, on that plant-based diet, we're getting more out of our D3. We're getting more out of our vitamin K in plants. We're getting more because of the changes that happen when we change our diet from a plant, from a, an animal-based diet to a plant-based diet, we change the microbiome and they change the efficiency of how we utilize these nutrients. Yes, even vitamin D3. I love bringing this new research uh, to people's attention. I hope you share this so we can get this information out there that yes, consuming vitamin D3, whether from sun or supplementation on a whole food plant-based diet or consuming high fiber. Remember, and I'll show you the little, little thing here, clean green protein is the highest in fiber out of all the plants highest in polyphenols remember polyphenols oligosaccharides which is also in in um uh, clean green protein these are naturally occurring in the lentine that's in its whole food plant state so you're getting a whole food nutrient rich in fiber rich in polyphenols and and vitamin k1 all there in its natural whole food state 
This is why it's so different. This is why I was so proud to bring clean green protein to market. It's giving you your body's nutrition to really help you improve your strength, improve your recovery. Yes, even in, in, increase and improve your vitamin D3 efficiency at converting to active D3. That is amazing. I, I'll post up all the studies that we have, several studies showing D3 consumption, increasing muscle strength. Now, when you add D3 to a plant-based diet, if, that, if those studies were done on omnivores getting poor efficiency of conversion because they're consuming less fiber, getting poor efficiency of conversion and still getting big strength gains, big performance gains, big muscle uh, adaptation increases, increases in oxygen uptake efficiency. So for endurance athletes even, that's what I wanted to do is give, give something different to the community that is really interested in not only taking a protein to, to help with recovery, but a whole food protein with all these fiber, polyphenols, and rich nutrients, including chlorophyll, that are just so great at helping the body do everything else in the body. That's how you get great results from high nutrition, high performance nutrition, and it's whole food state compared to these isolated pea and rice protein products that are out there that are just flooding the market. That's not what the body needs in its entirety. This gives you 33%, a third of all the fiber that you need for a thing for the entire day in just one little scoop. That's amazing. And that fiber again is feeding the bacteria that convert the D3 that you're consuming in a supplement or in food states it's converting them higher. It's making them more bioactive. It's giving your body a better, stronger immune protection. It's helping your body have that active D3 that supports bone health, that supports um, teeth health, that supports um, so many different aspects of our body. Um, it's incredible when you do things right. And that's why I didn't just put out another pea and rice protein like everybody else did in the market. I waited until I found something extraordinary and exceptional. And, you know, this, this, uh, this, protein, uh, this uh, protein award right there, actually for the best supplement award out of all supplements in the United States, um, that's, that's why I did what I did is 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 we won the next the best supplement in the of out of all the supplements in there because i waited and worked with this um, grower to be the very first to bring this extraordinary plant to market and that's what i want to do um we will be launching a new d3 and again i didn't want to find just any d3 out there or even any just vegan d3 because there's some good vegan d3s out there but what I noticed is that many of the vitamin D3s that are available out there are from mushrooms. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking them. They're fine. But they are not purified D3. So you're probably or possibly getting vitamin D2. Now, it's interesting in the studies they did on vitamin D2, they showed no muscle strength gains at all. So you're getting a, a part or portion of vitamin D2 possibly with your vitamin D3. And that may not be the best overall approach. So I found a pure plant source from algae, a true plant source, plant-based vegan D3, not mushroom or lichen, which are both fungi, right? They're, they're not in the plant kingdom. Um, and, and you actually have to take the fungi and subject them to light, basically. You have to force them because they naturally convert, uh, create vitamin D2. That's what they do. They're in the fungi system, uh, kingdom. And, and that's their natural function. Uh, they, they are forced through uh, forcing light on them to switch over to producing D3. And so they have probably mostly a mix of it. But I found one that was actually pure D3 nothing else, no D2 in it at all, and from algae, a true plant instead of, uh, well, some can argue that point, but from the plant overall kingdom. Um, yes, so this is more that naturally produces D3, which is extraordinary, and certified organic. 
So now we'll have the first pure vegan D3 that is vegan and from a certified organic uh, algae source. Uh, really excited to bring this to market. Should be going into the market. Uh, if you're listening to this, this is December 10th, uh, 2020. If you're listening to it in the future, uh, it may be in the marketplace already. So check for it. But it'll be uh, the first organic, uh, vegan, plant-based, uh, plant-sourced, uh, pure D3 uh, ever produced. And really excited to be the first to bring this to market too as well. Um, excited again. I just go out there and keep looking for the absolute best that they have to offer. Yes, there are going to be cheaper products out there for those of you who want less expensive, but for you know, uh, for those of you who can't afford it, I totally get it. But for those of you who can and want the absolute best, that's what I'm going to continually strive to provide for you. And I. So excited to be launching our pre-workout that's got several new breakthrough ingredients in it that are not in the marketplace and way outperforming everything in the marketplace. So exciting, all backed by published human research. I'm going to be really excited to share some more information with you once we get closer. Um, so yeah, back to this, just a simple recap. Um, D3 is important for muscle health, bone health, immune health. Um, all vital right now, but also that that plant fiber is a catalyst to strengthening and boosting our microbiome. Feed our microbiome the fiber, they convert those butyrates, they convert that D3 to active forms, that can help boost our bone health, our teeth health, our even prostate health. I mean, the, the health the, of vitamin D3, the studies are just prolific. Once we have the D3 out, we'll publish all the studies, probably close to 50 different studies on vitamin D3 and important roles they play for health, uh, but some very important ones right now for uh, immune health, uh, especially with all this research confirming um, uh, what I've been talking about and in the correlation of uh, vitamin D3 upregulating cathelicidin. So if you haven't checked it out before, Check out my video on D3 uh, and, and cathelicidin and immune health. It's called D3 and immunity. Great. I step-by-step step why D3 is so important, why D3 and COVID deaths are higher in elderly, higher in obese people, higher in people with darker skin. I break it all down, the research, the science, everything's there. And you can see it, read it for yourself. But now we have one more thing to add to that and why plant-based community is probably better protected because we're consuming the fiber that feeds the bacteria that activates that vitamin D3 and allows it to be more helpful in boosting our immune system directly and indirectly through cathelicidin, which then can, is shown to actually kill viruses. So yes, this is one more way that a plant-based diet not only helps protect us in, a, in boosting our immune system, but also helps us in the gym and helps us in overall health by increasing our body's ability to use the nutrients that we get from our sun, from our plants, or from the soil in case of B12. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please share if you really liked it. Please even just talk about it with other people and let people know that plant-based diet increases your D3 efficiency and the studies are now there. We actually even identified the bacteria that do it, identified that they are plant fiber consuming bacteria. So it's, it's a pretty nice breakthrough that even vitamin D3 is improved by going on a plant-based diet. There's one more reason why I'm really encouraging people to go on to a plant-based diet. So even if you're thinking about it or fence sitting, it's, it's good, better, best. The more plants you can consume, the more especially whole food plants that you can consume, the more you can go towards healthier versions of things, like a healthier version of a plant protein. If you're consuming a plant protein, look for one that's high in fiber, high in polyphenols, high in chlorophyll, and high in vitamin K. These are important ones and high in omega-3s. That's why I did, because lentine that we use is in its whole food state and higher in all of those nutrients, 
than almost every single plant protein out there. And there are literally thousands of plant proteins out there, but they're all basically the, the same, using certain plants in their isolated state, stripping out all these nutrients, and then what? Sprinkling some back in, like sprinkling vitamins in there to put on some label dressing on the label. We don't do that. We don't add any nutrients to that other than an enzyme to help you break it down and get more of those nutrients that are naturally occurring in the plants in that whole food lentine. 60% of our protein is actually whole food lentine. So that's my give back to you. I want you to live the healthiest, fittest life you can possibly live. And I'm gonna keep going out there and finding the plants that deliver on that promise, looking for the best that nature has to offer and bringing them to you. I hope you enjoy this video. Again, give it a like, uh, give it a share if possible, and or just please, just talk about this information with other people. Post it on other uh, groups and stuff so that more people can get this information because it's really important. The more we understand, if we just cooperate by with our, our, our own body systems, by eating these healthier plant options, we can really improve our health, really even improve our ability just to survive a pandemic. So for those of that, uh, you, when you share, know you could be helping save people's lives with this information. Keep going it, keep spreading the news. Plant-based diet is the way to go. And whether you're a partial plant-based diet or 100% all in like I was in one day, 35 years ago, October, uh, March 15th, 1985, I stopped doing drugs, stopped doing alcohol, stopped smoking cigarettes, and stopped consuming all animal products in one day. It's not the way everybody else does it, but whatever way you do, the more plants you eat, the better your health will be. I guarantee it. And the science is now here to prove it. So I hope you enjoy this video. We'll publish both uh, all of the studies that I just mentioned and talked about, as well as the article that simplifies it so that you can read it in lay terms and share it with other people. I'll post those both and all in the comments section. Watch, watch out next for us. We'll have lots of cool new guests coming up in the next couple of weeks and also more research to come. Got some cool new breakthrough research coming as well. So stay tuned in and don't forget to share. Thanks for joining me.